Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Shaheen Manjazi. On this channel, I talk about how to use the mind to live the life you desire. And today I'm talking about your desires, um, your innate desires, your divine plan for your life that is unique to you. And um, it's something that I've really just come to understand, but something that's really been uh, creating a sort of click in my life and bringing me a lot of peace in my life, a lot of joy in my life too, um, by understanding this concept. So I just wanted to to share it with you guys, so maybe it could shift your percept your perception, your perspective, and change how you look at your life and how you and how, and how you look at the world and how you relate to the world. Um, so I just want to start this off with a quote by um, the screenwriter. Derek Rydahl, and this is what he says about the de this is what he says about desire. He says, "The word desire means of the sire, or of the father. In other words, that strong impulse to achieve something is actually the something already in you, seeking to come out. What you want is already here, in the unified field of pure potential." Everything you need to fulfill your greatest desire is already part of your being, but it can't come out until you align with it, let go of the, obst the obstructions to it, and raise your vibration to the level at which it already exists. Um, I think that's a really well said, um, and I've watched a few videos and looked at Derek Rydahl's work on, on desire. I believe he has a book called The Desire Code. I haven't personally read it myself, but um, from what I see, it's probably a great read. Um, but this law of emergence, right, of seeing your desires not as something that you go and try to get from the world as, it, as though you are this empty hole, like there's this empty hole inside of you and that you have to go and make a lot of money or fill that hole make a lot of money um, or get something you know whatever it may be a spouse partner house material objects status respect um, all these things that it seems that most of society is constantly on a hamster wheel trying to run around in this world trying to get things all the time when they feel that desire. Now it's not the desire that it's the, that's the problem, right? It's not the desire that's the problem. It's the fact that people believe their desires are separate from them. People believe that their de desires are somewhere out in the world and that they have to find it. Now of course, if you follow Neville Goddard, you know that the world is simply a reflection or a mirror of yourself, of your own state of consciousness, of what's happening in your imagination. This world is just a reflection of what's happening in your mind. So you're not going to find what you're looking for out in the world because your world the, the world is this is just the mirror. What you're actually looking for is your desires and your desires come from within you, right? So your desires are just that knock on the door asking for permission to emerge and express themselves through you. Right? So in our society a lot of the times we feel desires and if the desire doesn't isn't in congruence with the norm of what society says um, we suppress that desire right or we try to and, w and when we suppress that desire that desire sort of rots inside of us and we all know that feeling of having a really deep desire within us that wants to emerge and express itself through us but we suppress it in some way we don't allow it to emerge through us and what happens when we do that is that that desire again grows stale within us and it becomes malignant and it can manifest in the form of disease or something that's undesirable and it manifests in these strange ways whether it be weird behaviors but it rots us it destroys us it degrades us from the inside out when we hold on to it and we don't allow it to emerge through us. So that is why it's so important to realize this concept and this shift that I'm speaking about right now, 
to see that your desires are not separate from you. You don't get your desires from anywhere out in the world. You allow your desires to emerge through you freely. You, you release all obstructions, all mental obstructions that you have toward your desires and you allow your desires to come forth into your imagination and imagine your desires to the best that you can. Right, that's what Neville Goddard said. Imagine your desires. Make your desires real in your imagination. Ponder them, reflect them, write about them, speak, upon, speak about them, and then finally act upon your desires. And you will feel moved to do beautiful things with your life that no one else can do because everyone in this world has a divine plan for their life, right? Everyone else, everyone in this world has a divine plan for the lo their life. Only you can fulfill your divine plan. No one else can fill your plan for your life and what desires want to express themselves and emerge through you, okay? So that's the message that I want to leave you with on this Sunday, okay? And um, again, like this video, share this video, comment on it um, so that we can get the word around, spread positivity, and let people know how powerful they are in creating their realities and living the lives that they desire. Okay, and um, that's, that's, all I got. that's all I really got for you guys today. Just remember to imagine the best that you can imagine because this life is your playground.